Hey everybody, it's Nintuba64 here. Welcome back to my Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, I did Nugget Bridge and showed you a really good cheese for how to get a good bit of money. And in this episode, we're going to go through this route to Bill's house. But first, house, not how, we're going to pick up the TM for Attract. It's a decent move. It pretty much means... I don't know. I think it means the opponent can't attack you as often. Either that or it lowers attack. Anyways, let's fight all these trainers with with our really overleveled War Turtle. And yes, I'm soon going to get my second Pokemon, I'll admit. Maybe I should have had it where I got it earlier. But I don't care, because I have fight. Oh wait, I'm stupid. You can tell I haven't played this game in a while, can't you? Ah. <sighs> I love it, so I'm gonna play it anyways, even if I do suck. <laughs> and yeah, send out your Geodude, Mr. Franklin. I'm gonna just use Water Gun for four times damage, not to mention Geodude has rather garbage special defense. Sorry about me not speaking for a while, I was the fan on my computer. Oh, it got rather loud and I was checking how much it was picked up, but my mic seems to be dampening it rather well. Thank you, Microphone. You're a very nice guy. And we got 540 Poké Dollars. We're winning! See, we won't be poor for the entire length of the universe, and you can't avoid these trainers. Even this Rotato. And yes, Rotato. Calling him that. I'm gonna just talk to you. Hi! My boyfriend is cool! Good to know, <laughs> I guess. Good to know, Kelsey. No, no, you're sending out Nidoran. What am I ever going to do? Um, uh, I think I'm gonna water cut. And just, yeah, like a boss. Oh, and the reason I'm leaving those trainers is I'll eventually go back and fight them. One day in the world. But for now, I just wanna get through the game. Wonderful game funness. And I've beaten Picnicker Kelsey. Yes, Kelsey. You will never be able to beat me. And I'm gonna fight a hiker now. I have a feeling the Picnicker in the upper part of the screen, the one to the right, is her boyfriend. And he's gonna say, I have a girl girlfriend, so I'm cool. And let me guess, you're a crap ton of Geodudes and Sand Shrews. And maybe an Onyx. And why did I use a physical move? I'm stupid. Oh no, Rock Throw. Sure, my nature gives me crap defense, but the fact that I'm a war turtle means even then it's pretty good. So just going through the game, and I've gotten kind of behind on my recording of this game, even though I'm like two weeks ahead on Isaac. But I'm recording this the same day the video goes up, and I don't have any extras for um, a link to the past either, so I need to record that today too. But you know, that doesn't matter to you guys, I'm, I'm gonna get it out, don't worry. Mm. But yeah, I, this LP is going to be a lot more fun once I get more Pokemon, so I have choices, and it's not as overpowered for me. Because I really feel I haven't even level grinded at all. This is just what happens when you only use one Pokemon until kind of late in the game. I mean, once I get my first po other Pokemon, which will be a Growlithe, and you need to fight him right there so you will be able to get the hidden item because it's actually a pretty good move. I'm not going to teach it to my war portal, but I will teach it to someone, maybe. And just got to use the gun of the water and squirt it at people, aka this Rattata. And I really don't understand Pokemon logic. It, why, why do you have to run from it? The Rattata, it's like a foot tall. I know the character in this game is really short, only 4 8, I'm freaking 6 4, but really, why do you have to run from a Rattata? Just, if it tries to bite you, punch it. Now, don't punch a puppy, like, don't punch a Growlithe, but if it bites you. It's like, only punch it while smiling. It's like, there are minor differences. Like, have you ever seen someone dragon kick a baby while smiling? It doesn't look near as terrible if you do it as if you do it while frowning. It's like, I'm a dragon kick and bait! As opposed to, oh, I'm a dragon kick and bait. See? Minor differences. 
there are minor differences in other things, like if a woman wears nothing but a t-shirt, it's cute if she's just like your lady friend. It's kind of hot, but if a guy does it, it's creepy. Really creepy. And there are other minor differences. Cutting someone off when you're walking as opposed to doing it in when you're driving. If you do it when you're driving, you want to freaking rip their head off. But if you do it when you're walking, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, my good man. Oh, that's fine. I do hope you have a wonderful day and that a squadron of beautiful vaginas finds their way to your crotch by day's end. You know, you gotta think about the minor differences game. Minor differences. And yeah, I'ma just... Aww. I didn't kill the oddish. Probably because it resists it and I should be using bite instead. But I'm not the smartest cookie in the world, if you didn't know that. I'm gonna use bite some more. And yeah. You are finally level 29. I don't know why I'm saying finally. There's not really a big difference between level 28 and 29. You know, I'm gonna just... This is a normal move, even though it'll probably miss and I'll be screwed over. I'm gonna use Mega Kick. And finally, something was able to get a hit at on me. That's kind of funny. How rare it happens, because I'm just so overleveled, I can outspeed most things. And let's just run, run, run. And the reason I'm not fighting these trainers is I'm overleveled as is. Don't want to make it any worse. And hey, a Clefairy, I'm a talk to you. Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemon hack. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not Josh and you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So, how about it? Help me out here. Wait till I get inside the teleport. When I do, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. There seems to be a problem. You have a PC. You have a monitor. There is no keyboard. Now I'll just press the power button. That didn't work. How? how? There, there's no keyboard. Th this is impossible. We may currently be in the day for touchscreens, but in 2002, we were not. We were not. And now, let's talk to you. Yeah! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. So, did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I've got to thank you. Oh, here. Maybe this will do. And I received the SS ticket from Bill. And Bill is the manliest name ever, ever. That cruise ship, SSN, is in Vermilion City. I hear there are lots of trainers on board, too. They invited me to do their party, but I can't stand fancy dudes. Why don't you go instead of me? Go on, and have a good time. So that's cool. He wants us to just go to a cruise ship. Okay. Now, you can do one more thing in here that will help you. Teleporter is displayed. I thought you were able to get some pages for your Pokedex here. Oh, Toto. You are a terrible liar. Even though I did fall for it, so maybe he's not that bad of a liar. I'm gonna just run down here this way and check out what's there, because I don't exactly remember. I think it's just a shortcut. Yeah, it's a shortcut back. I wish you could run under the bridge. It's not really that useful to do so. But I do need to go back on this route, because there are two new Pokémon, which I haven't encountered yet. And one of them is, hopefully it'll show up now. No. Coming to when I find one that, you know, is new! Okay! This is the first one, it was literally the second encounter after this. This is Oddish, and I am gonna water gun because it's pretty common, so if I lose it, I won't hate myself. And it does resist it, and have really good special defense, actually. So, yeah, I will try to catch it from there. Oddish is a pretty decent Pokemon. It's outclassed by Venusaur, but it's still pretty good if you want to use it on your party. I'm not going to actually start touching balls just yet. I'm going to use Paris and try to paralyze it. Paris is pretty bad, but it can learn Spore, and I like Spore quite a bit. Plus it doubly resists Gig, Mega Drain, or Absorb, whichever it is. Anyways, just got to 
Yeah, you're absorbing me. Oh no. Actually, I could probably use another um water gun now. And yeah, you know, use stun spore. Paralyze the Ordish. Ordish. And go to my Pokeball case and use one of my eleven. That reminds me of uh, from High Arts of the Caribbean, the uh, pieces of eight. It's like use one of the eleven. I don't know why it does. It just does. I'm weird like that. And I have your data in the Pokemon's decks. Now give a nickname. No. There's one other Pokemon that's pretty good, and trust me, if I was able to obtain the final evolution, I would use it, but cutting ahead to finding it, 15% chance my butt. Oh, and you know what the really annoying thing? What? No. I didn't. No. 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 <laughs> wow! Finally! Found another one. And, yeah. The only move Abber knows is teleport. So, pretty much, you throw a Pokeball, and if it doesn't catch it immediately, you lose your Abra. So let's hope I catch this. One, two, three. Uh Finding another Abra. Third time's the charm. Or, yeah, third, I think. Use another Pokeball. Catch the Abra. Come on. One shake. Two shake. Three shake. Again. Finally! Fourth time's the charm. Abra. Wow, there were so many encounters before I was able to find you. So freaking many just chuck a Pokeball and hope it catches. One. No. 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 Again. Okay. That one wasn't too bad, only about five encounters. That they don't want to fight. Even though with fight I could flinch, but it's weak to bite. So I would most likely kill it because Abra is very frail. So one, two, three. Game. 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 Okay, Abra. I'm gonna be friendly to you. I know all the others ran away. But you won't, because you're a nice guy. Come on, you're the fifth Abra I found. One. Game. You know, I really should actually consider myself lucky. In all the videos I've made, this is really the first time the LP curse has showed its face. So, I shouldn't complain that much. Besides, not complaining means you catch it. So, even though I'm annoyed at how long that took, that took like 8 minutes, actually many more than 8, I was kind of speeding up when I wasn't showing you. Sorry, but yeah, that was kind of annoying. and. The only person it's really bad for is you guys, because what I do is I don't make an episode a certain length. I record for a certain amount of time, and I record for half an hour, and then see what it becomes. If I don't cut anything out, it becomes a half hour episode, but if I cut a good bit out, like this episode, this one will probably be closer to 22 minutes. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna hit a pitchy with my water gun. It's gonna be all fun, because it's a critical hit, and I totally wouldn't have KO'd it if it wasn't a critical hit. That was like the most necessary critical in the world. And sorry for speeding it up. And now, I'm gonna heal up my Pokemon and go fight a guy. It's Bill! Yeah, Bill's pretty well known, and I would like you to heal my Pokemon back to full health. That is very nice of you, Nurse Joy. You're awesome. And before we leave here, let me check who's in my party at the moment. No, not Bag. No, not Bag. Pokemon. Okay, I have a Nidoran male. I'm going to deposit my Rattata in Oddish. Where I booted up the PC. Which one should be accessed? Pokemon Storage System Deposit. Going to deposit you. 
and you. The Abra will be used for teleporting, and I'll eventually level up the Paris for it to learn Spore, which is a godsend when catching Pokemon. It's one of the only, one of the very few Pokemon who can learn it. Uh, I think it's like Shuckle, uh, who, who can learn Spore? Shuckle, the Paris line, Smeargle, of course, but, you know, he's kind of a pain to get to in this game. Those miserable rockets! Look what they've done to my house! They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. I was going to use it on a Mankey or a Sandshrew. That cost me a bundle, it did. Yeah. And who are you? Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? You know, I was pretty convinced until you threw a Pokeball at me and it contained a Pokemon and you were like, snap his neck. Then I was like, you know, maybe, just maybe, hear me out, you might not be one of the good guys. And I'm gonna act on that suspicion by squirting water from my mouth at you, at least my war portal's mouth. And wow, for a fighting Pokemon, you're pretty weak. Nah, I'm just joking. The Machop line is pretty good. Terrible in Gen 1. Gen 3, they're pretty decent. I remember, like... I think Gen 3 was actually the last generation that Machamp was overused, however. And, oh no, confusion. That's bad, especially since I only need to get one more attack off the entire fight. And yeah, the fight's over now. And if... really? Oh, I'm mad. <laughs> you know, didn't do max damage that time. It's okay. I'm glad that there are things that can finally stand up to my wrath, and I probably should use Super Kick on that anyways. Player defeated, Team Rocket grunt. Stop, I give up. I'll leave quietly. And I get 544 Poké Dollars for winning. Wow, how badly do they pay these guys? Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. And I recovered TM28 from the Team Rocket grunt. And I'll put it in the TM case. And yeah, you don't want to go down there. Let's actually head south to the land of Vermilion. After just, what does the sign say? Trainer tips. Pokemon can be made to hold an item. Some are even used by them in battle. And I'm actually gonna go down here and do some more stuff. One of them being finding another new Pokemon that I'll, you know, cut to. Or I would, if it wasn't the first thing that appeared. And the awesome thing about this is it doesn't run away five times in a row. So I think I would kill it if I, you know, did anything with my War Turtle, so I am just going to use Paris and scratch it. Okay. Oh yeah, effect spore. Put it to sleep. So, Paris, terrible stats. Really good ability, however. Effect spore can pretty much poison, paralyze, or put it to sleep whenever a Pokemon makes contact with it, which is really quite useful. And now I'm going to chuck a ball. And it's asleep, and it's at low health, but if this doesn't catch it, I will be sincerely surprised. And, yes, the Meow is caught. So that makes me happy, and its data is added to the Pokemon. Pokedex. And it's the urban Pokemon, that's kind of a stupid name. I always thought, like, Garbodor would be the urban Pokemon. Or Trubbish. Anyways, let's go to the daycare, and talk to people. You're a people, how are you? I run the daycare service. Would you like me to raise one of your Pokemon? No. Come again. And yeah, there is a PC up here. And yeah, it's just a little daycare service. That's all nice and dandy. And here is Underground Path, Cerulean City to Vermilion City. And if you're wondering why that's there, try to go down and you'll find out. I'm on guard duty. Gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh, wait there, the road's closed. That's why. When guys are thirsty, apparently they don't have to let you through. It makes sense, doesn't it? Hey, do you have Nidoran male? Want to trade for my Nidoran female? Yes, I do, and this is why I didn't go through the pain, pain, pain for catching a Nidoran female, because it's really rare, and you can just trade the much more common Nidoran male, and yeah, this is what it looks like. <laughs> uh... 
Why does the Nidoran even have its mouth open? What is it doing? Is it sucking something? Uh, I don't know. But, like, the Nidorans are meant to be the kids and we're really Nido, Miss Nido. That's terrible. That's a terrible name. You shouldn't exist anymore. Thanks, you're a pal. And yeah, we have a Nidoran female now. In the underground path, that's a fun time. We'll just keep running. Keep running. And hey, get to the end of the underground path and talk to you now. People often lose things in the darkness of the underground path. Yeah, but we don't have the item finder just yet, so I don't want to try to look for it. Sorry, man. Sorry. And yeah, I think there might be a hidden item here. Wow, citrus berry. Citrus berries are really quite useful. And let's see, I'm going to guess where it is. I think it'll be... Right there! <laughs> so... Now let's just go down and... I really don't want to fight trainers. Right now. So just run. Yeah, I'll come back and fight them once I get, like, another Pokemon on my team, such as... Once I get another Pokemon, I'll come back and fight them to get levels for that. Pretty much. So fight. Fortish. I'm gonna bite you. I'm gonna bite you hard. Oh, and you flinched. I'm glad I bit you so hard. Because it's painful for you. And it makes you dud. And I get 167 EXP period points. Yeah, that's spelling. And just run down here. Avoiding at least one of the trainers. Huh? You wanna talk to me? No, I want to go down. What makes you think I want to talk to you? Are you paranoid and think, oh my gosh, I, I can't stand when people are paranoid because it's the sign of the biggest ego in the world. It's like, they think everyone's out to get them. Hey, newsflash, you aren't important enough to everyone, for everyone to want you dead. <laughs> newsflash, people. Anyways, uh, just beat a Spiro and his Raticate. Hey, actually getting some evolution in here. It's pretty nice. Raticate, you know, it's one of the stronger Pokemon we've fought so far in terms of stats. I mean, it'll still be very outclassed by the end of the game, but it's decent. For now. <coughs> and yeah, 397 experience points, and we've beaten Camper Jeff. That stinks. I couldn't beat your challenge. And I only got three... I didn't challenge you. You challenged me. What kind of idiot are you? Anyways, I feel like going in here, and who are you? I'm a fishing guru. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Uh, I fished before. It's decent. I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. And really, the only time I ever, ever went fishing was with my uncle. I caught a bunch of crabs, and they were decent sized crabs, probably like almost eight inches in diameter. And I I ate like one of them. But most of them, he just used them as bait, like crabs that big for redfish. I mean it was really good redfish when he cooked it. But it's like wow I suck that much. The urge to battle with someone you've tangled with before. Have you ever had that urge? I'm not sure I'm sure you have. I wanted to battle certain people again over and over too. So I've been giving these away. Please, take one. And we get the BS Seeker, probably my one of my favorite key items in the game. Either that or the bike. It's a wonderful thing, but you do have to have 100 steps before you use it every time. Even if they are the same level, Pokemon can have very different stats and abilities. Pokemon raised by a trainer is stronger than one in the wild. That's because of EVs. Is it true that a, it is true that a higher level Pokemon will be more powerful? But all Pokemon have will have weak points against specific types. So there appears to be no universally strong Pokemon. Actually, Arceus can be strong to everything, depending on if you know what you're going up against. Like a team of nothing but Arceuses and Ubers, that would wreck stuff up. We have to see you again, and who are you? A Pokemon was poisoned. Faint while we walking. Oh no. But you know what? I think I'm gonna end off today's episode here. So next time on Pokemon Fire Red, we're going to do everything you can in Vermilion City and then, you know, do some other stuff. See you guys then. <laughs>